Hello, welcome to Scratch 3D Printing. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take off the extruder from Elugu Centara Carbon 3D Printer. Let's scratch today's problem. I just started printing with the Elugu Centara 3D Printer and I already have a clog. I was printing with PTG Carbon Fiber, PLA, and then I tried foam TPU and it got clogged. So right now, I'm going to show you how to take off the extruder and see what is happening inside of the extruder. But enough talking, let's just jump right into it. So of course, we're going to open the door. One more thing, the door does not open that wide. I actually wanted to open a little bit wider, but I think it's fine. I was printing with PTG carbon fiber and this got stuck here, so I cannot get this out. And as you can see over here, that is TPU foam. I extruded and it just melt into the build plate which sucks and the way you do this make sure that the bed is lower so you have enough room to play with the printhead first of all take out the cover careful not to pull it because there's a wire here let's unplug the wire carefully and then we're gonna set this down here here is inside elegu centara printhead here's the extruder hot in your heat sink and the extruder is gonna be inside here so let's take it off for this project, you will need a 2 and a 2.5 Allen wrench. So the design here is a little bit different than all the 3D printers I have worked with. In order to take this off and get inside of the extruder, there's one screw here, one screw up here, and one screw over here, and one screw up there. Taking this screw off is quite a challenge because they're so close to the rod here. And if you turn your Allen wrench, it's going to hit it. I'm using my ball Allen wrencher just so that I can unscrew at an angle. Okay, now that we got all four screws off, we can go ahead and take this cover off. So this is a separate cover. In order to take this cover off and not the whole thing, you need to take out the screw for the heat sink. One, two, three screw right there. There are additional screw right here, right here, right there, and one behind that cutter over there. If you take those off, the whole thing will come out but that's not what we want. We just want this cover. Okay, so once we have all those five screws off, the heat sink should come off from that. So we can take the heat sink off. Like that, put it down here. And this comes completely off like this. You don't have to worry about any spring because this design is very simple. Right there is gonna be your motor, which is gonna drive this big gear right here. There is a small bearing right here, so I'm gonna take this off. And right here is a spring that push your blade back and forth, which is really cool. Okay, so let's check inside here and see what is going on. So I'm gonna take this off. Oh, that is quite hard to take it off. Oh, and look at that. The phone TPU went to the side. How is that even possible? Look at this, they put a little bit of grease in there. And these are plastic gears. Based on $300, plastic gear is totally fine. Some high-end 3D printers, like $1,000, still use plastic gear. Can we just pull this out? Oh, there we go, okay. So I guess, however it comes down, it went to the side or something like that. But yeah, this is a very simple design. There's a bearing back here. This is the gear that is gonna drive the filament. And right here is the screw tensioner. So we can go ahead and tension this screw. When I unscrew this, the screw is pushing this down. Make sure you push this while doing it because maybe if you kind of screw it up and you push it towards you, it's gonna fly out. So just push it and then screw it at the same time. Yeah, so if we unscrew this, you can see that the screw is pushing the spring down more and more. I'm just gonna unscrew it back to the way it was. And also be very careful when you're working with this because the blade here is very, very sharp and this thing moves freely. So let's say you accidentally, oh my gosh, my hand. Yeah, don't, don't do that. If you don't make this pop out, you are totally fine. There's nothing to worry about. And the reason why it's such a simple design is that there's no filament sensor up here at all. The filament sensor is back here on the outside of the 3D printer. So they can make this very, very simple design like this with no filament sensor, no small spring, and anything like that. Or maybe it just got clogged inside of this. Uh, you know, let's just take off the silicone block and see what is happening inside of there. I actually don't like this design of this thing here. Because sometimes if you take off that, you might ruin this. this. So it looks pretty okay. It looks like there's some um, plastic there. Yeah, looks like there's some plastic leaking here. Maybe, maybe not. But I don't know. So what I'm going to do now is start the 3D printer, heat it up, and I'm going to try to pull this film out. So I'm going to heat it to 190. 
it's already 190 already okay so hopefully it's not hot and hopefully I can take this out it's like very deep in there you cannot grab it there we go okay got it out my I got this out so what I'm gonna do now is put this rod in there just to push out any leftover filament quickly pull out oh my gosh there's so many residue in there okay i'm gonna unclog it one more time what how are there so many st stuff in there okay there's less now okay there we go so i got to unclog turn off the heater for the nozzle and once it cools down i'm gonna assemble everything back and then we will do one test and see if we unclog this one more thing i noticed is that these wire i don't know why they twist these wires so many times like that. I don't know why they do that, but, but hey, maybe that's for um, strength. Okay, before I put the 3D printer back together, and I'm gonna put it onto the gear here because it looks like they have put, it looks like they did put some, but it's like so little. So I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Whoa, what is wrong with this grease? Is it expire? It's like liquid grease, huh? No, it is. Oh, whatever. Put this gear inside here like that it fits in very nicely it's a lot smoother now and don't forget about the bearing snap it on and now we just line it up so what i recommend is you put this screw here first just because there's a spring there that keeps pushing this back and make sure that this wire here goes underneath here if you don't do this it's not gonna fit so just screw in all for the screw and then we're gonna put the cover back okay so while the 3d printer is starting up what I have set up right now is, um, this is the phone TPU. I put it in here. I kept the phone TPU in here just so that it does not say that we ran out of filament. So I'm going to keep that in there, but detach this. And I'm going to put in this PDG right in there just to test. Now that the extruder is up to temperature, I'm going to click this down button, which means extrude. We will see if this is going to extrude or not. It's going in right now. I can feel it. I can see some smoke. There we go. Extrude one more time. There we go, it's extruding now. Okay, one more time and we are good. Look at that, look at this part right here. There's still some black phone TPU in there. I'm gonna retract. What is this? Look at this. What, that came out like that. How's that possible? I just did one retraction and that's what comes out. It took so many extrusions just to extrude, but it only took one retraction to retract everything. That is weird. And there we go. That's how you unclog the Elegoo Centara Carbon 3D Printer. And that's how you take off the extruder without taking everything off. You just need to take off the 3 screw and the 2 screw holding in the heat sink so that it comes off and you can work with it. There's no spring or anything like that that can pop out or any sensor in there. So this is a pretty simple design and that's how I think they keep the cost low. For some reason, the TPU just went off-road and I believe there may be something clogged in there. I feel like the whole nozzle is heating up and everything in there is like melted because when I extrude, it took me like five or six times to click the extrude button just so that the filament can extrude. But when I retract, I think it just retract from up here and everything down here is already melted and the TPU is just not strong enough or not stiff enough to push down more filament. Yeah, that's how you unclog the Elegoo Centaur 3D printer. If you still have any questions, leave it in the comments down below. Leave a like on this video, subscribe to the channel because more amazing videos like this is coming. And if you haven't yet become a member of the YouTube channel, it helps me tremendously. Thank you so much for watching and as always, keep on 3D printing.